to One Left Gym. I'm not sure why, but in the Bronco, Ford left out grab handles in the typical locations you'd expect in a car. Maybe they thought these other giant handles would be enough. They gave the driver one and two for the passenger. These are some seriously huge handles though, which should definitely be useful in those oh sh** moments. But some of us are still used to reaching up top for that handle in a moment of panic. Also, while my wife doesn't age, I seem to be aging at an accelerated rate. Exaggerated movements, like climbing into a taller vehicle, can sometimes be a dicey proposition. Add to that the fact that we got the Bronco option with the Sasquatch package, and we're both kind of short. So I figured adding another pair of handles to help us in and out could only help. Neither one of us are a fan of those dangly looking paracord type handles, so I found this set of metal handles on Amazon. The handles are really nicely packaged. They're made from an anodized aluminum, and they feel really substantial. The kit includes standoffs and screws and an Allen wrench for installation. Before installation, I wanted to do what I hoped would be a quick mod to them. Since it occurred to me that these might get really hot in the summer, I wanted to insulate them a bit. I bought some really large diameter shrink tubing. It comes in a variety of colors, but I just went with black since there wasn't a color that would match the interior of our model. By the way, links to the handles and shrink tubing will be in the description below if you're interested in getting any of them. The shrink tubing was easy to cut, but not so easy that I could get a perfectly straight cut. So I cut it a little longer than what I wanted. Then came the fun part. Slipping this over the handle's curves is pretty much impossible while it's dry. Rubbing just a little dish soap on the inside of the tubing made all the difference, and I was able to wrestle it into place. Patiently running a heat gun along the tubing eventually shrunk it snugly around the handle. I then used an X-Acto knife with a new blade to score along the contour of the handle's edges that I could feel through the shrink tubing. The tubing was really thick, so I had to go over it multiple times until the cut was deep enough so that it could be separated. I had to be careful not to go too deep so I didn't cut into the finish. Ideally, I should have just spent more time to have gotten a straighter edge on the tubing before I put it on, but oh well, I didn't. I took off the roof so I could video this better, but this could have been installed just as easily with the top on. Insulation is straightforward. You just remove the two 8mm factory screws, put the included screws through the handle and spacers, and then tighten them down with the included Allen wrench. Super simple and easy. And they're done. Here's what they look like installed with the roof off. And here's what they look like with the roof on. I was afraid with any of the rigid metal handles being sold that there might be a lack of space above them when the roof was on and they'd only be useful when the roof was off. Nope. As you can see, there is lots of room above them. They can be grabbed just fine with the roof on. I'm happy with the way they came out and have immediately started using them when I get in and out of the Bronco. The shrink tubing also feels really good on them. But what was my wife's verdict? If you were looking to get handles like this for your Bronco, hopefully this video helped you with your decision. Well, see you later.